Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today I am going to do a video that you actually requested on the one of the Dax Fridays videos and it is how to calculate, in this case it was the sum by subcategory but you can calculate obviously anything by subcategory and I'm going to show you how and we will do that with some X with filter and with earlier I have already gone through these functions in detail, so I will not do that in this video, but I will definitely explain how everything works. So you will be able to understand anyhow. If you then want to have more detailed information about just a specific function, just go through the videos. I will link them below and uh, you will be good to go. So let's begin and finish the Friday with the Dax Fridays video. Okay, so this question was asked uh, on this video on parent and child functions where I explain how hierarchies uh, work or ca can be built into, in Power BI and Power Pivot. And um, we have Sharvan Hamid that uh, asked me, okay, how can I find out the sum of number of child IDs per parent ID? And as a this is actually a great video, so why not doing it? And uh, Sharon, I'm going to answer your question now. So hopefully this will make it clear how to make it. Let's begin. Okay, so this is actually the sample file for the parent and child functions um, for the DAX, the, that DAX Fridays video. And uh, what we have here is the parent ID. We have the component ID and then I show how to calculate the path, you know, so you can see the hierarchy. I show you how to calculate the path length, for example. Um, yeah, all kinds of things. Just if you are interested in this, go through the video. But what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to calculate, let's say that instead of path length, this is cost. And we would like to know because we have the cost of every individual component for each parent. So we have one parent here, one parent there, and one parent there. Let's say that we want to calculate the cost based on the price of the components. And this is the, or on the cost, and this is the cost of the components. Just imagine that. So how do we do it? So what we are going to do is create a new column, calculate column, we're going to call it cost, product cost, why not, product cost, and this is how we will do, we will do, because what we need to do now is to pick only the components or the price for the cost for the components for these and sum, sum them up, we need to pick this up, sum them up and pick that up and sum them up. So to do that, we are going to, this is really not how you build it. You will build the filter table first, but we are going to do a sum X on rows. So we will need, a, we're going to do a sum on rows. So we will need sum X. And what we need here in this expression, we need a table and then we need expression. So the expression is, the part that we write the column that we want to sum the x on. So we want to do sum x on path length, right? So that will be the expression. Now, the question is, what is the table? And what we need to return to sum x is a table that contains first only these, then only that, and then only the last one. And for that, we're going to use filter. And we're going to tell the filter. For filter, we need first a table. If you don't know how this works, I will uh, link for the video for this function, okay? But um, what you need with filter is first a table, but level one, you need then to compare, like you would do in Excel, right? You need to know if you are here no problem, you go to the next one, is this one equal to this one? And if it is, you want that as a, as a part of the, the table. Is this one equal to this one? Is this one equal to this one? And for that, we're going to do like this. We're going to write parent ID. So we're going to get that. And then we say equal to earlier. Now, 
Again, if you don't know how earlier works, I have a very detailed video on that, so make sure to check it out. But it, what this basically is doing is what I explained before. It's just going to the previous one and saying, or to comparing to the current row. Just check, check that video. And then it's going to say, okay, are you equal to this? Yes. Are you equal to this? Yes. Are you equal to this? But when it comes here, are you equal to this? No. And then it stops. So it creates this table, if you would say so, virtually. Let's finish that. Now we have the table for MMK115 slash 1. And when they have the table, what we want, let's finish that, the filter function. And now what we want is to do the sum x on path. Length. So you will get this table, feed it to some x, give the solution, create a table, feed it to some x, bring the solution, kind of. So, so now you have here 16 right on the row for the first uh, parent, and this is for the second one, and this is for the third one. Okay? So this is how you would calculate things by subcategory on a calculated column. So hopefully this answers your question, otherwise let me know, and I will try to explain better. But um, yeah, cool trick, isn't it? Okay, so now depending where you are in the world, if you're seeing this video, maybe the beginning of your day or the end of your day. Either way, I really wish you a great Friday. If you enjoyed the video as usual, let me know by liking it. It helps me understand which videos you like and you don't. I can do better content for you guys. Um, share it with somebody that you think uh, should uh, know about these tricks too, or wonders. And if you're new to the channel, um, make sure you subscribe because I publish Power BI videos three times a week. We have Power Query, Power BI and uh, DAX. So make sure you don't miss it. And to make sure you don't miss it, click the bell to receive notifications, okay? Because you will be notified when I publish new content, otherwise you won't. So um, I'll see you again. I'll try to continue with the Power Query challenge on the weekend, but weekends are a family reserved, so I, I can't promise. But otherwise I will see you on Monday, okay? Have a great weekend. Bye.